Hey guys, Martin here from TSI. Uh, someone commented just recently about my battle belt setup, asking me if I could do a quick video running it through. I have actually done a video and an article on it in the past, but I'm more than happy to do another quick rundown. So we're out here on the front garden, out in the sun, and I apologise if there's any wind noise. Um, my belt, as it is, um, is pretty much my summer setup, and the plate carrier is what I wear during winter when it's just that bit cooler. Um, and also for in New Zealand for airsoft next year. Um, so the battle belt itself, this is a high speed gear. I um, can't remember what it's called, but obviously it's nicely padded. Um, all about, all um, molly webbing. The internal belt is a 511 Cobra. It's the Assaulter's belt. Um, now everything on here pretty much is 511 bar the holster and the phone pouch. So these mag pouches I use are actually 511 radio pouches. Now the reason why I use them, a couple of reasons. One, that will actually hold two M4 mags or two UMP mags or two vector mags, two pistol mags. Pistol mags not ideal. Um, so they actually work really well. Of course they'll hold a radio. They also hold my 600ml bottle, which is for gels. I don't use that for water, it's for adding extra gels. Now, funnily enough, these actually work as a pistol holster as well. Yes, mind blown. This works as a pistol holster. Around the back, this is a 511 drop pouch. So expanding drop pouch. I very, very, very rarely use it. In fact, it's faded just from being on my bag in the sun, on my back in the sun, but not getting used. It's there just in case I need to drop something, carry something, and quickly put something away. Uh, my next pouch is the 511 Igniter Admin Pouch. Now, this is generally, by game, pretty much empty. Um, I store in here my 511 padded sling, um, basic tools for adjusting hop-up, and there is in here two little strips of different bits. Um, now, for small games, I've always just got notepad, pen, and some TSI business cards. <laughs> Cheeky. Um, but I also tend to run a very basic ad a first aid kit in here. If it's a bigger event, I change this one out for a first aid kit, a straight up first aid kit. This one here is actually, yes, I do identify as a warthog and just a tip, I promise. Two favorite patches. Um, this is actually 511 notebook pouch, admin pouch, but I use it as a radio pouch. I prefer it as a radio pouch over actual radio pouches just because it's deeper, a little bit more covered. The radio is generally hidden away. So this one here, when the headset's on, it is just purely wiring sticking out the top. I have it tethered so my radio can't come out and it tucks away, it's a little bit neater and a little bit smaller profile. The both Baofeng UV5R radio programmed to 80 channels so it's not a ham radio. Just so you know they are technically illegal if you don't program them. This is a code red uh, headset from GNA Tactical. In fact, pretty much all of this is from GNA. This is a great headset, just obviously the in-ear. These are a Kevlar lined wire, so you're never gonna break this thing. I can't remember the model, I think this one's a rec Recruit is the model, so that's my mic. Um, and obviously the headset, great piece of kit. Uh, works really, really, really well. You don't feel like you gotta baby it. It is a pro level thing. It's not just an eBay special. The headset alone retails at 150 odd dollars. Uh, one of the only non-511 parts on here is this Maxpedition um, phone pouch. Now, mid-game, that's got phone in it. Post-game, that's got my safety glasses in it. So I've always got my safety glasses on my belt. Uh, don't lose them. I went through <laughs> too many just losing them. They don't actually come with Velcro on here, which is a bit of a nuisance. So I have actually glued patch backers on so I can put my pouches, patches on there, because obviously I'm a bit of a patch whore. And this one at the front here is a Condor Tornado holster. Uh, it was actually a thigh rig, 
but I hate thigh rigs, so I just rigged it up to go through the molly. Um, can hold a mag on the front, has got one, two retentions. And I also actually have an elastic tether that goes over the grip so that if I'm running, I can guarantee things aren't gonna jump out. It can actually take the pistol with a light pretty easily. And I have got it fairly loose because one of my gel pistols actually run my RMR optic on it. So it squishes a little bit awkward because the RMR actually sits down in there. So that's the actual, that's the belt. The sling I run mostly is a 511 padded two point sling that as you can see I've actually webbed in together onto an AK carabiner to be a single point. Now why do I run a two point sling on single point? Purely because it's padded, it's comfy as hell, and it's got this really, really handy quick release um, extension and to cinch it down tighter. So that is actually a really good little system that is not available on the single point sling. Glove wise, I run Mechanics um, Impact 2s. These ones are old ones that I chopped the fingers off because I wore through them, but they're still perfectly fine in the palm, so I wear them for just fingerless. And then the plate carrier we'll do separately.